sure if we're live or not. Let's check this out. There we go. It's a little bit of slow uh, live stream. Losing some of the connection. Well, hopefully it'll hold up. Uh, hi, everyone. Today is October 18th, 2019, 1.30 p.m. And we're doing a drop in math tutoring session for the 2019-2020 school year. And this is drop in math tutoring session number five. Okay. And we're basically going to do uh, just open discussion uh, for high school mathematics. If you have any questions, uh, we'll try to help you out. And we've done a few of these. And if you're following the videos that we're loading up on uh, BitChute and YouTube, uh, right now I'm in the process of loading up uh, some early childhood education videos. Uh, we've loaded one on for how I go about teaching counting. One, The next one coming up is going to be how I teach adding. And the one following that is how I teach multiplication because they follow each other, right? And uh, those are basically segments of a two-hour video that I that I shot um, that I've already edited, and it's going to be the complete video is going to be loaded up following as soon as we get the multiplication up and going, okay? And um, and I think I'm going to do a few more of those things. I assume I might actually start doing a lot of how I go about teaching certain concepts in mathematics in elementary and high school level um, I know I sort of cover that stuff when I do do the teaching when I do 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 the do the lessons right it comes out the way I'm teaching but um, I think it's pretty important to uh, basically for educators for parents for homeschoolers just for them to give uh, for me to give them the mindset to provide uh, sort of my thought process of how I go about uh, teaching certain concepts in mathematics, specifically directed towards uh, people who are homeschooling, educators, teachers, parents, whoever, right? Hello, Saint Just Germany. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well, brother. Welcome to another live stream. Mathematics. Mathematics. And I'm very chill today. I've been editing and shooting videos and uh, doing a lot of work and getting a few new students popping in uh, getting in touch with me so uh, it's been a fun ride so far this uh, school year hello Chicho Robert the tube how are you doing have you ever read the wiki article math mathism I'm doing good thanks how are you doing good 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 I've never read it I don't know what that means math mathematicism math I'm gonna look this up Mathematicism. Mathematicism. What is this? Mathematicism. Mathematicism is any opinion, viewpoint, school of thought, or philosophy that states that everything can be described, defined, modeled ultimately by mathematics, or that the universe and reality, both material and mental, spiritual, are fundamentally fully only mathematical i.e. that everything is mathematics ne ne everything is mathematics necessity uh, necessitating the ideas of logic reason mind and spirit this is the first time i'm hearing about it uh, do i agree with this i keep on saying that everything's mathematics uh, it's our uh, our uh, attempt at trying to quantify the world and understand it better and stuff like this and there is 100 percent i i believe that is the case but do i believe that mathematics has the ability to quantify everything based on the language that we've come up with no i don't because mathematics has uh, one restriction that we know of right where we cannot divide by zero but division by zero occurs in our formulas and our functions so we know that is that it is a thing we just don't know what the end result is there's two possibilities you it's you go on forever or you explode the universe right 
So there is uh, what is that? Ghouls, uh, go, is, was it go, go, Godel? That did the inconsistency theorem, where um, basically saying that if you're within a box of any mindset, then the system you're analyzing the world from within that box is not complete. There's going to be if you come outside the box, you'll see, you'll find the problems. Basically, uh, that's my philosophy. But generally, uh, yeah, we can explore the world through the realm of mathematics without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt. On the spiritual level, um, possibly, yes, because you can explore through the realm of uh, entheogens and stuff like this, and and it's a chemical reaction and we don't we like our knowledge of us is so limited it's insane where people say science said this science is always in flux right science has said many things before in the past that have been wrong right uh, so this whole dogma of science our scientific community consensus was this therefore is true is is flawed if we look at throughout history we'll find out that some of the greatest minds uh in the world in human history have been persecuted by the scientific community right olive how are you doing how's life i hope you're enjoying this friday afternoon friday morning friday evening saturday morning saturday middle of the night uh saturday afternoon <laughs> right i hope you guys are doing well i like getting into the bath back into the mathematics and i got my editor up right so i've been editing videos back into editing video mode right so there's gonna be a lot of edited video popping up on bitshoot on youtube uh with the lapel mic and the hd camera and stuff um so it's fun doing that fun getting back into the rhythm of things and messing around with different editors Friday evening here. I'm doing good. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Europe. Europe. There's a lot of stuff going on in Europe. But we do tomorrow, by the way. For those of you interested, tomorrow we're doing a live stream on um, uh, current events starting at t -t -t starting at 11 a.m. From 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. on Saturday. October 19th we're gonna do a live stream on current events okay uh, and there's a lot of stuff going on there as far as the mathematics front goes um, open discussion we talk about anything you guys want and um, uh, what do you call it uh, math centric for sure science centric chemistry physics oh well, more physics I guess so one core essence of this approach is maybe we didn't invent mathematics but discovered it which is possibly true which is the code that the whole universe was based on we do math discoveries not math inventions agree like zero was not a discover was not an invention it was a discovery of the number zero those people they detach math from science saying about scientific statements exactly what you said and state uh, and state mathematic truth greater than scientific truth that i would agree with uh saint just germany that i agree with mathematics truth uh trumps scientific truth and i think uh we should change it from mathematics truth to mathematical reasoning uh trumps scientific reasoning but science uh the core language that science is built on is mathematics however uh there's a lot of uh false interpretation of data in the scientific community we know that as a fact right there are scientists out there that take kickbacks from corporations that they uh they massage the numbers to present the perspective that the corporations want there's scientists out there that have a certain ideology or stuck in a certain dogma and they massage their numbers to present their biases there's scientists out there that are limited according to the countries they live in the laws of the land where they're not allowed to conduct certain types of scientific experiments for example uh, science uh, on cannabis was criminalized 
or has been criminal it's mainly illegal around the globe but in the united states and canada and europe or whatever in the western world it was criminalized for decades any scientist that wanted to scientifically examine the health benefits the spiritual benefits the um, the emotional benefits uh, of cannabis would be thrown in jail right so there was a lot of underground uh, not a lot but some underground research done in the scientific community on the benefits of cannabis one of the ones that i read which was 10 15 years ago was a czech in the czech republic i believe um, I believe it was a Czech Republic they conducted an experiment where um, they introduced cannabis it was all under the under table right because if it was above board then the doctors scientists would have been arrested and thrown in jail right but basically what they did was provide cannabis to people who had Parkinson's and try to see the effects of uh, cannabis on Parkinson's and it was all beneficial right like crazy it was insane uh, like uh, people the, their life uh their lives improved dramatically right uh, and that is uh, you know the limitations of science you have to abide by the laws of the land mathematics has no limitations in in large part right you can do mathematics and not break any laws as far as i know <laughs> right was just about to say your voice would be great for asmr then i saw the title yeah <laughs> came my <mouth. laughs> i put out a lot of asmr videos brother <laughs> fun uh there is this distinction truth of facts and truth of reason science is about truth of facts sky is blue based on observation where math is about truth of reason facts can change maybe someday sky is red reason is like eternal truth one plus one equals two reason is like eternal truth why does one plus one have to be two ah uh, sit sit kiss our manan it doesn't necessarily have to be two if you take just the numerical value natural value of one plus one you get two right however if you start introducing units uh, or vectors into the equation of one plus one here let me show you guys this because this uh, this i like i use this when i'm trying to certain teach certain concepts right where for example what i always say is one plus one could be a maximum of two and that's not even true right <laughs> but at least that's one level beyond this right so one plus one one plus one is equal to two right one vector unit one vector let's call this vector one right plus a vector that goes this way here vector one uh, vector two its magnitude is one right if you add those guys together then you're not going to get a two right and if that's 90 degrees separation 90 degrees let's put it here you would have this going this way that's 90 degrees that's one that's one right and the resultant of this vector plus that vector is going to be this guy which is v3 right and v3 is going to be the you can derive it from the pythagorean theorem right you could go a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared which is one squared plus one squared is equal to v3 squared so 2 is equal to v3 squared and you square root both sides so this is equal to square root of 2 it's a magnitude right so that's one way you could have it on a rudimentary level you could say oh here's vector 1 plus vector 2 this is equal to 0 all right if they're going in opposite directions if you add them up right so it really depends uh, it really depends it depends what it is that you're measuring but when it comes to uh, number theory I guess I don't know if it's called number theory one plus one is two that's one of the core core axioms of what mathematics is built on okay uh, 
is one unit of something plus another unit of something equal two units of the same thing? It depends. Like people say, you can't add apples and oranges, right? So here's an apple, apple plus an orange. If you try to add those, you get one apple and one orange, one apple plus one orange. Or if you add one apple plus an, plus an orange, you get two pieces of fruit, two fruit, right? You change the units. So once you take mathematics and apply it in the real world, you can play around with some of the uh, absolutes, I guess. What did you call the V? What does it mean? I just gave it a variable V. Um, it could have been anything, it's just a variable. But when you put a line up top there, it means it's a vector. So what it is, is a vector has both magnitude and a direction right if you just write down one plus one or x x plus x so one x plus another x is two x's right period but if we have x which is a vector plus x here x1 x2 x x1 plus x2 is two x's right but x1 that is a vector plus x2 that it, actually I shouldn't put x2 here they're both x's right but if you have one x which is a vector plus another x which is a vector then their directions might be different so the result you have to drive from basically trigonometry so when I call it a v it doesn't necessarily have to be v it could be x put that on top y Put that on top right w put that on top it just means this has magnitude and a direction associated with it uh, but yeah binary one plus uh, one is a good example too like when you're um it, 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 i gotta look up the terminology i'm not prepared to talk about this too much but uh basically um uh, measurements of twos and measurements of um, what do you call it your base is different right if your base is two or your base is four or your base is six or whatever your base is right it's about this if you have one entity and add another entity you have double the entities as long as the entities are exactly the same entities it's about math logic the question is can reality have another logic or is this logic reality itself uh, I think it could be another logic. I think at some point, maybe, maybe, if not uh, us coming up with a completely new language that replaces mathematics, which I don't think is going to happen, at some point, we're going to get an extension pack that's going to layer itself on top of the core mathematics we know. It's just, just like games that you get expansion packs and all of a sudden your world becomes much larger i think what's going to happen is we're going to look at the mathematics we know and at some point we're going to say hey for the problems that we're encountering with mathematics the main one being we cannot divide by zero all of a sudden we can introduce a new way of doing things or a new way to look at this thing to travel at the speed of light travel faster than the speed of light create a wormhole right there will be at some point my belief my limited understanding that at some point we're going to have to break that boundary okay i hope so anyway i hope so right. i think maybe we do it through music vibrations right we'll see human brain isn't expert at finding patterns that exist and don't exist agreed because of this it's also easy to get stuck in the same old patterns and laws many problems have been solved by thinking outside the box yeah and there's so many patterns people make connections to things uh, and everybody does it i've done it you do it everybody does it where you look at something look at a system and go oh there's a pattern there and you incorporate that pattern into your life and then maybe a few minutes later up to never you know a few decades later you realize oh there was no pattern there right you were living your life based on this philosophy that didn't really exist 
based on this belief system that really didn't exist we're pattern recognition machines we're so good at it as sticks armana says we see patterns where patterns do not exist right which is one of the places where chaos three kicks in, uh, chaos theory kick chaos theory kicks in right which is super cool i, I really like the chaos three theory stuff some of the stuff anyway uh, like trying to understand climate trying to understand weather right it's chaotic over the long period you know it's got a it's got a time span on it we can only make uh, predictions of what the weather is going to be like for short periods at a time right hey nice baldy head <laughs> uh, my tv isn't working properly i should call the service company but i hit it hard in the side and now it works perfectly try calculating for, uh calculating for that something's loose in the tv right and why are you watching tv anyway and this has got to be an old school tv it's a tube tv isn't it i don't think it's going to work if you hit the led tvs or the plasma tvs and stuff i think hitting tvs uh only work for the, the cathode ray tube tvs right everybody's done it if you had those types of tvs i've done it right bang it works great the color is off oh what bang oh the color is on again encounter strain no <laughs> not yet <laughs> i'm not into the counter strike yet oops i'm not into playing games right now i'm crazy busy and enjoying what i'm doing hmm. ftl speed etc uh ftl ftl what does ftl stand for is no problem in math only in science today using math as a tool math extensions like game dlcs uh, could they overwrite what we find true for for now maybe maybe i think some of the things that we find to be absolutes right now are total fallacies i mean in math history was there a situation where we had to dump certain math statements like we falsify scientific statements all the time uh saint just germain there's there's one thing uh one example i have in mathematics imaginary numbers when the even root of negative numbers came about when we did the real number set right Fa oh faster than the light speed i should know that right fast and light speed thank you very much vip uh wq vip c cube i respect it i used to hit my grandma's tv off the grandpa's tv all the time are you vegan no is there any chance for a meat cooking oh dude i just made a ton of hamburgers like three days ago at some point i'm going to show you guys how to make these hamburgers i got the recipe from my mom and it's the first time i made these hamburgers uh short for viper ah viper okay cool viper thank you for that uh i got the recipe from my mom and it's like the shish kebab stuff where I, I loaded on the pictures but it doesn't have one ingredient in there and they were really good like i've been eating hamburgers for like two days three days now last ones we're going to finish today so at some point i'm going to show you how to make the hamburgers as far as the thanks viper as far as the one thing if you take a real number set right natural numbers whole numbers integers rational and irrational right and we talked about this this is a real number set human evolution human thought what we thought about integers right with every boundary here there was new problems being created right over here went from natural numbers one two three all the way up this one discovery of number zero we create a new thing called whole numbers and then we have positive and negative numbers right for integers negative whole numbers so dot 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 negative two negative one zero one two dot 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 this created problems when we're taking even roots of things right so square root of four is plus or minus two but square root of negative four when as far as i know when we discovered this we didn't know what it was right so they gave it the name imaginary numbers how do you spell it? imaginary imaginary my scribble imaginary i don't know how to spell it imaginary numbers right <laughs> i have brain farts when it comes to spelling imaginary numbers they called it imaginary numbers because they thought this was a byproduct of the mathematics 
they didn't think this stuff had any real meaning as far as I know right I could be wrong and recalling what I've uh, heard about this regarding his history right and then later on hundreds of years later we found out oh these aren't imaginary numbers we should call them complex numbers complex numbers because they're the square root really the square root of negative one which we call I which comes into play when it comes to electricity water flow and stuff in the real world right so that's one place where we thought these things were bogus and then we found applications for them right <laughs> I should do acronyms my mind goes everywhere with words right so uh, and once I learn it I if I see it again I try to remember it right it's not weird that old calculators are wrong even even new ones are sometimes wrong even the ones that are right could actually be wrong and the ones we claimed was wrong uh, could end up being correct in the future maybe calculations yes I wonder about math logic and general math statements being wrong at some point do I know of anything beside this I don't know I don't think so math logic and math statements are based on calculations are they based on calculations or is that true they're based on axioms so as long as you stay true to your axioms and you're moving things around properly introducing new things combining different things together I don't think the statement would be wrong unless in the calculations in the algebra people made a mistake or the assumptions were incorrect but true mathematics pure mathematics shouldn't really have too many assumptions associated with it should it as far as I know radars use imaginary numbers I, I should know this but I don't uh, because of geophysics we did uh, I did a lot of uh, radar surveys and stuff like this and I don't remember if uh, because everything was uh, running it through software right uh, the theory I don't remember because I studied the theory in university and we applied it a little bit um, when I was doing geophysics but I can't remember if it involves that or not most likely it does I think imaginary numbers or complex numbers appear in many places from what I understand they should anyway they do appear in many places I believe uh, it's something that I haven't delved into too too much it may be wrong if it is I am sorry I'm not, no no worries Viper I'm I'm pretty sure some of the things I'm saying are wrong so disclaimer don't take anything I say uh, too seriously everything with a grain of salt right uh, if you're interested in it look it up I don't want to I don't want to be uh, take on the responsibility to uh, to say that everything I believe everything I say is 100% correct right uh, I have no desire to be in that, in that position I'm just acting as a node and sharing info and willing to change my perspective on things hopefully anyway can you guys hear the rain it's raining really hard it's nice it's very chill here right now very chill Friday afternoon hope you guys have nice plans for the weekend it's fall so you better eat, be eating some root vegetables healthy root vegetables local healthy root vegetables I love a good rainstorm too yeah the one thing we don't get here that I miss that we got when I lived in Alberta for a while and I lived in Ontario for a long while and in Montreal and stuff and Quebec uh, I miss lightning storms we get a little bit of lightning storms here uh, but not too much it's brilliant love crack what a phenomenal thing to witness right really puts things into perspective I wish it was raining here it's calming to listen to very calming to listen to I love when people bang two metal objects together next to my ear so coffee <laughs> I don't think the 
uh, people bang. I don't think uh, Automod like people bang, but it's legit. I don't think that's very calming. Of course, if you're in a symphony, have you ever done? I used to play drums. Hitting the cymbals is pretty loud. Uh, pretty, pretty loud. Pretty loud. I think scientific statements are based on calculations, where math statements are based on logic only. I could be wrong. I, I don't think you're wrong. Uh, uh, St. Justin, right? One of the things with scientific statements is this all of the science that we're applying right now, every theory has assumptions associated with it. Really, whatever you read from the scientific community, there's assumptions that they have before they look at the data, process the data, and interpret the data in their calculations in their collecting of data, in their interpretation of data, in their trying to present, understand what the data represents, there's assumptions at play in all of them, all of them, right? What if some of our core assumptions are flawed? Like the ultimate assumption in science, right? Especially when it comes to geology, um, the geologic scale and how the universe came to be and stuff like this is the uni uniformitarian uh, principle, which is um, basically law of uniformitarianism. I can't even pronounce it. I have to read it and say it slowly to be able to. And that basically says the rate of change that is occurring right now was the same rate of change that occurred in the past. I have a problem with that assumption. I think it's true for many things that we talk about when it comes to our lifespans but i think there's a flaw in there we can't assume that time and rate of change is basically time so they're saying the time it takes for things to happen at the present was the same amount of time that it took for the same thing to occur in the past but time the rate at which time changes uh, can be manipulated either through acceleration or through increase and decrease in math and changing the mass. So I have an issue with that assumption. So I agree with St. Just Germany. Um, science has a lot of assumptions associated with it. Mathematics doesn't. Mathematics is a whole bunch of core uh, truths that as long as the mathematics is being done properly, uh, they're all everything else is layered on those truths so it's logic right all spring fall and almost whole winter it's raining in sweden yeah in vancouver all the fall a huge chunk of winter and fair fair chunk of spring rains in the west coast of bc there were some crazy thunderstorms over here in new jersey even a few tornadoes. Oh, you guys have tornadoes in New Jersey. Is that like normal? I didn't realize New Jersey gets tornadoes. What? Water sprouts. Whoosh. We get some really good storms here on the Norwegian West Coast. Cool. We get amazing rainstorms and wind. It's just lacking the th uh, thunder and lightning. It's too humid here. You need dry to get the uh, lightning. I really miss snow. We don't get a lot in uh, in the London. I'm assuming it's London, London, yeah, London. Yeah, that might change if the currents in the ocean change, right? And I miss it a little bit as well. We don't get too much snow on the west coast, unless you go into the mountains. The amount of energy is even a weak storm is incredible, incredible, incredible. Dante, how's it going, brother? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. On average, there's one or two weak tornadoes in New Jersey per year. Really? Wow. I've I've only seen one ter one tornado in life uh, in real life when I was a kid, and it was grand. It was huge. It, aside from that, I was when I was living in Alberta. I tried to chase a couple of tornadoes, find them, but I was too late. Chicho, yes, I like the analogy with the chess game. 
science is about finding laws and laws in the chess game first discovery pawns can move one field uh, second disc at the start they can move two fields third disc they can become the queen at the end of the game field okay cool but science needs to witness a play to get conclusions math doesn't need observations i believe just thinking again i might be wrong. no i think uh, that's a great way of putting it actually for science we need to observe right we need to uh, uh, for something to become theory we need to be able to replicate right uh, when it comes to especially in medicine and stuff you need to be able to replicate an experiment and the results right mathematics does, does not require replication mathematics just requires authentication i guess with people going through a proof to make sure all the calculations were done correctly so that's a great example actually saint just i'm going to start using it. i'm going to try to keep it in mind right for science we need observation we need experimentation right we need repetition right with mathematics we don't need observation we don't need uh, experimentation we don't need repetition we just need to use the laws the axioms of mathematics the theorems the proofs that we have already the absolutes to come up with new things maybe if we're wrong someone please let us know either right now live or in the comments of this video when it's going to be loaded on BitChute and youtube let us know i'm curious is that a good way of looking at it might be might be a fantastic way of looking at it actually yeah interesting topic uh, saint just really i to me it's it, it, my problem with science tahini right as you can tell i eat a lot of tahini one of the problems i have with science is all of like uh, there's multiple problems actually but one of the core problems is science has to operate within the boundaries of laws of a nation man-made laws legality right so as soon as you put legality into the realm of science you're restricting scientific discoveries right so that's one of the problems i have the other major problem i have is the money uh, that controls science right the other main problem i have is censorship within the scientific community with all this scientific papers and whatnot and putting scientific papers behind paywalls they're restricting science it's the capitalism of science is uh, commodification of science right so i think we've got a long ways to go before we fully uh, can uh, can discover many more many many other things uh in this world that we are totally oblivious to because of man-made interventions uh into scientific discoveries i think it's horrendous personally i think it's disgusting actually just imagine how many hundreds of millions of people were forced to suffer tremendous amount of pain and anguish and their relatives because man-made laws pre prevented scientists from conducting experiments to understand the full benefit of cannabis right wow 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 that to me when people really appreciate what that means it should blow everybody's mind right it should blow everybody's mind you should question everything coming out of the centralized institutions once you fully appreciate what that what these prohibitions have meant to our civilization right robert anton wilson called it coming out of the dark ages basically a genocide was being committed on those who wanted to 
explored the realm of entheogens for centuries right for decades at least right so there was a restricting flow of information it's in, it's in, incredible hemp make clothes out of him make rope out of him make fuel out of him make paper out of him make medicine out of him make oils out of him make make get protein right out of hemp seeds right like hemp hearts or whatever make like so much so much list just continues and continues right just imagine just imagine next time like for me i'm brutal with people that support prohibition i am so hard on them so hard on them man so hard on them because they're the those people who th there's a lot of people that are program brainwashed through that right I have CBD oil yeah CBD oil for inflammation for muscle pain relief for nausea right just imagine how many hundreds of millions of people have gone through chemotherapy and radiation over the last few decades like hundreds of millions of people right and one of the first uh, symptoms of or what do you call it uh, side effects of radiation and chemotherapy is nausea you lose your appetite you vomit you you can't keep food down right and you need to keep food down you need to eat to be able to have a fighting chance right so you need food to be able to live meanwhile cannabis reduces nausea increases your appetite but what did the medical system do right they brought in pharmaceuticals and were giving people pills to reduce their nausea and increase their appetite and those pills had side effect crazy crazy right give me some CBD some real pure honey and garlic and I would live forever and yogurt 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 is essential as well yogurt is essential and pure honey for sure like just to let you know here one of the ways I use garlic uh, ear infections right for youth I'm prone to ear infections or whatever it is right I've taken a lot of antibiotics in the past right but I reduced the antibiotics there's been cases where I feel throat infection or chest infection or ear infection kicking in I buy a jar of pickled garlic mm -hmm. organic jar of pickled garlic right or not necessarily organic but a raw pickled garlic just with salt and vinegar or whatever it is right brine right I'd make garlic sandwiches and eat garlic sandwiches my breast stinks for a couple of weeks but I don't take antibiotics try not to anyway there are times when you do need uh, modern medicine right don't deprive yourself of life just because pharmaceutical companies are evil literally right olive oil might help to olive oil yeah olive oil although there are huge uh, potentials in cbd and cannabis use we still have to admit by the way if you have any math questions drop them i'm here making myself available for a couple hours to help anyone that requires mathematics math help if not we'll just continue with our discussion um, it is about information and love it right although there are huge potentials in cbd and cannabis use we still have to admit the data and numbers are not fully in and investigated on a large enough scale to make it concrete this means there are still potentially high risks that we are not aware of though the general opinion is not indicative of that here's a kicker um, merely human right why don't we have the data we don't have the data because the scientific community not the scientific community the uh, political realm right laws of the land prevented scientists from collecting data and why did the laws why did prohibition come into play around the globe it was America's war on drugs that instigated it why did America's war on drugs begin because of racism because of corporatism because of commodification not because of science but because of economics because of control regulatory capture 
right? As far as potential data, not according to our present scientific method where you, you know, do your seven steps or whatever it is and collect it all. However, cannabis has been tested through human civilization. It's one of the oldest plants used for food, medicine, oils, fuel, and everything else, right? It's been a part of humanity forever. Since before we were on this planet, most likely. Okay. So uh, I, I sort of disagree that the scientific, there isn't a consensus in the scientific community that it has a lot of benefits. Human history tells us it's got a tremendous amount of benefits. The only reason we don't have the hard data, the one that the scientific community, the scientific realm right now gives a worth to is because of laws, man-made laws, right? Here's a pill. You need to take this pill for the side effects. And for the side effects of this pill, you need to take this pill. 100%. Big business. Big business. Right? My conclusion is that holistic methodology often overlooks science solutions that are present, proven, easy to attain. Um, agreed to a certain degree, merely human. I don't. There's a lot of people that are, are delusional, right? they they have infections and they don't realize that they need to take antibiotics right or uh, i agree with you that a lot of people are taking half half truths and really not understanding what those things mean and trying to incorporate it into their lives without doing due diligence right so that's part of our education system <laughs> my thing my thing is this part of our education system people have been uh, are being br uh, indoctrinated to be subservient to power so whatever power says authority says they tend to believe right that authority may be just someone online with a beautiful website telling them oh do this and you'll feel great or authority could be from a centralized state i think as human beings we have the responsibility for our own decisions right if you decide to believe in a charlatan snake oil salesman whose responsibility is that is that your responsibility or the state's responsibility to uh, to interfere in your stu you know to try to protect you from your you know we can get into it but i'd rather not right and charlatans are charlatans um they should be exposed as as such it's a vicious circle it's a vicious circle library agreed uh there's been research researches on it since a long time back but because of the war against drugs and the view on um, cannabis there's been a big hush hush about it yeah the problem is that the data and researchers are not really brought up yeah they've been indoctrinated through our current you want to call it education system but it's not education it's indoctrination i'd like to follow the medical research by aubrey de gray <laughs> sons foundation i don't know that there's research uh, how to uh, reverse the aging process meaning age equals the amount of damage the body does to itself as a side effect of the meta met metabolism they try to repair this damage Put in like seven calories consume seven calories some of this aging stuff is uh, it's funny i think you can uh, we can definitely live much longer than we are if we aren't exposed to all the toxins in the world that are created due to our consumption and our current political economic system uh, so i think we can reverse or not reverse but slow down the if you want to call it the aging process we already got cbd pills since many years back yeah just because a plant has been used as a medicine for a long time doesn't mean it's good medicine there are many plants with medicinal benefits but they tend to not be very strong and dante maybe we don't need them to be very strong if they're a part of our diet right one of the problems with our current medical system with with 
health in general in the Western world anyway it's not preventative right is reactionary it and a lot of that is associated with food just imagine being able to eat certain types of food that have amazing benefits to the human body and if that is part of your diet then what that does or what tends to happen is you don't have serious malfunctions occurring right it's like if you're exercising your whole life then you're going to be more fit and you're going to be less prone to injury than someone who hasn't been exercising for a long time and then they get up and try to do a lot of exercise they're going to hurt they're going to do something that's going to hurt them like one of the things i learned and i have a friend a good friend that was a physical fitness trainer and uh he was, lots of body weight stuff and whatnot he said listen chicho go into the gym the only thing you have to do really if you want to find out if someone has strength and has been training for a long time is if they can do chin-ups right and chin-ups are one of the hardest things that people do in the gym if they've never done it before right so a lot of people do a lot of weights and stuff like this and then they try to do a chin up and then they pull a muscle something tears right there's people that have been doing chin ups all their lives they don't tear anything so it's really a question of you know I'm sort of babbling on ranting but if we had these foods in our diet then maybe we wouldn't have a lot of these illnesses right Chicho, yes I agree on everything you have said so far when I speak about the data I am simply referring to modern science applications in reference to what is currently known I realize it has had uh, a sample pool of humanity for an unknown but very long time yeah and one of the things was uh, uh, Nassim uh, Talib Nassim Nicholas Talib uh, that's one thing he brought in uh, into the book um, skin in the game and he referred to it in anti uh, anti fragile and stuff like this where he's basically saying uh, the time that something has been in the system supersedes the scientific data that you might have acquired in a short period of time right so all that science is available if you go back and look at it or the evidence look at it throughout time right i'm paraphrasing i'm not saying it very well just because i'm on a rant right now but uh, as you can tell this is dear to my heart right very important uh, what's up boomer am i a boomer i'm actually on the lower side of the i'm not really a boomer boomer is a little bit older than me i'm a i don't know what i'm considered but what are these subcategories uh, i want to add the importance of cause and effect if statistics gets handled in the wrong way it is not beneficial if we did the right analysis or not it may lead to a false conclusion yeah sorry for my no your english is fantastic viper and i agree with you yeah the data interpretation there's a few different places where science fails us huge right in the in the experiment process right one of them the weak link is how you collect the data the other one is how you interpret the data and the other one is how you present the data right in all those three locations you could have catastrophic failures if you correct collect the wrong type of data this is all flawed if you collect the right type of data fantastic that are you interpreting properly conclusions are flawed if you collect the fantastic data interpret it as best as you could the best science allows you to do right and you don't present the information properly then it's useless right many modern medicine is made from plants and built on plants yeah most of it is i believe wow did you ever smoke weed mr chicho <laughs> cannabis cannabis is part of a diet in canada it's legal if a doctor would step out and say that cannabis cbd is better treatment than than the pills he should be writing out, he should be writing out guess what happens uh sticks are running in canada now doctors can prescribe cannabis before they prescribe any pharmaceutical pills and a lot of doctors are diet have an effect on your health 100 percent. if you're having ill health chronic problems look into your diet look into your 
stress level okay that's the first place health should be considered modern medicine is not made from plants it's true that they got the idea from plants or something that isolated the molecule from plant but they don't need to grow plants to make the medicine they don't need it but they use the plant as the blueprint dante right like as far as i know a huge percentage of pharmaceuticals are derivatives of what we found in the natural world penicillin isn't the isn't the mold on cheese and i don't know a lot of things from what i understand anyway slowing down the aging process is technically uh, more difficult than reverse it it seems so reversing it is easier since so many things are going on in your body at the same time all interacting with each other that's why repairing the damage is easier that's what i've heard oh okay that's cool so repairing the damage is easier than slowing it down okay I asked you a question regarding your interest in fantasy. Dune was the reference you showed, nearly human. So I'm just going to read this. Dune was the reference you showed uh, us in the return. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's right. And you explained how it allows you a window to others' minds. They, how they dream in a sense, which expands your own horizons. That concept gripped me and led me to ask a question that I had not realized prior. Exactly how much of yourself is is us if we are impacted directly by thoughts of others we experience and do we have any actual control over uh, over ourself if exposure equals future merely human i very much enjoy philosophy and its impact on our lives so finding questions like these greatly interest me uh, merely human that's why i call our current education system indoctrination centers because they're implanting the beliefs the concepts what centralized institutions want our society to believe right or to understand or to follow or to incorporate into their lives i think personally and many other people think as well very few of us really uh, understand who we are because we are bombarded constantly by propaganda by control mechanisms by filters by sensors right it takes a tremendous amount of effort for a human being for an individual to really figure out who they are really it takes it's emotionally taxing financially taxing uh socially taxing right just imagine being in the social setting all your life and all of a sudden you realize oh my god this is a cult right how are you going to find your way out of that and what are you going to find when you come out there's going to be a lot of other cults that are waiting for you to come out and if you've been wiping your programming and trying to uh, load on new programming into your mind there's a lot of people that want to load that fill in that space right it's it's crazy personally i think uh, merely human to viper yes i agree with you a consideration is that humanity as a whole can only have an output potential as great as their own capacity to understand and implement things properly we are our own limitations and a fault in our own development stooges the three stooges how are you doing hey remember when those uh created a remember when those created uh an atom bomb and tested it and it created that huge lizard monster that ran amok in the city called godzilla <laughs> look 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 hi chicha how you doing three stooges how's life sticks are man the last couple of years i'm uh talking 20 to 30 years back yeah and regarding just the uh, radiation japan has been uh one of the philosophies is beliefs is japan came up with all these godzillas and all these mutant things because it, it was hit with atomic bombs and stuff like this right so it became part of their culture history right they had to deal with 
on and there's a lot of uh, i've read some stuff regarding this it's really cool right uh, but just as recent news there's been storms in japan and a lot of radioactive waste was in garbage bags sitting in a place where all of a sudden floods came in and took all that radioactive waste radioactive plants and soil and now that stuff is in the ocean spread across coast of japan and getting into the pacific and getting to the food supply right are we going to go see godzilla or are we just going to see cancer race go through the roof right just thought i'd share that bit of, little bit of news yes i acknowledge that but that's not making it from plants that's isolating a molecule yeah and oh dante you're not gonna like me as soon as i reply to you and since then also changing it chemically that's why i saw a say we get the basic idea from a, from a plant but then we refine it here's the kicker dante i'm old enough to know that uh i think it was beta carotene in uh broccoli right our scientific community came up with the consensus that the most beneficial ingredient in broccoli or chemical in broccoli was beta carotene right so for a while in the 1980s or 90s a lot of people were buying a lot of beta carotene pills and eating beta carotene right the kicker with our pharmaceutical industry is this it creates extremely potent stuff but it doesn't understand how all this nature is really nature is the is the ultimate testing ground for things right nature has created all these plants and foods and and all the chemical compounds that interact with each other in a certain way that we as human beings do not yet understand not by a long shot like we we know very little about our, di our digestive system we know about the heart when it comes to science not bad pretty good but our digestive system we know very little about because that's related to the foods that we consume so for example um the, the the example i have is is it carrots that i beta carried in broccoli anyway there's something in broccoli that they used to sell a lot of pills of right and then later on it came out it wasn't all oh, it wasn't this the the other active ingredients in this they work together that was the benefits of it right when it comes to science what we do as soon as we're commodifying science as soon as we're putting a price tag on experiments uh, putting in laws to prevent people from conducting experiments and all this jazz the first thing that pharmaceutical companies want to do is create something that's not going to kill you that they don't really know the long-term side effects of right they just have to get it past the in the u.s past the fda so they can sell it in pill format and they put it on on the assembly line right away and people consume that right but that thing that they extracted out of whatever plant that they've got and synthesized who says that thing has all the benefits they tell us it does because we know it doesn't right because they've only been conducting experiments for five years ten years while some of these plants have been around for millennia right that have been in diets of tribal communities uh, i question everything that comes out of pharmaceutical companies i don't believe that like i personally don't take my multivitamins and all this crap i try to get my vitamins through food and because non-organic fruits and vegetables and food doesn't have as many vitamins uh, minerals as or the organic stuff the stuff you can get locally then i try to stay as local and organic as possible when it comes to food um, I don't have much worries for our capacity to understand I have a problem with profit centered uh, mentalities yeah for profit everything is possible nowadays as far as I can uh, as far as I learned yeah the comb comb jelly is the big thing in medicine uh, since it can recreate tissue and their brains imagine solving the question on how they do it and how we can recreate it yeah I've heard about the jellyfish stuff right that it lives like a thousand plus years and it can live forever really from what i understand uh, it's not going to be forever but saint just germany dante i'm just going to read dante's because i just went on a rant on dante 
well pre-industrial societies have a life expectancy of less than 40 so all their natural plants don't help them with. um so dante did they really have a life expectancy of less than 40 okay and was that calculation because it was was basically infant mortality was extremely high but as soon as you went past the infant phase right as soon as you were past like six years old or i forget what the number is right four years old six years old less than 10 as soon as you lived past that period then like your life expectancy was into the 70s 80s some people say life expectancy in the past was a lot higher than now as long as you made it past your infancy right so i personally don't agree with life expectancy in the past was less than 40 years that's taking all of human population right infants died at a higher rate yes uh, i'm pretty sure that's not disputed right but as soon as you go past that infant phase your life expectancy was pretty high so all their natural path yeah i read that um I, I disagree i disagree health because you can't just take natural plants into consideration just by themselves right you have to take their lifestyles into consideration they lived healthier there's no way it was 80. it might have been 60 after early child we have to look at the numbers dante i know i looked at this way way like 20 years ago i looked at some of this stuff right and i was blown away by the data right i was blown away by the data like and you have to consider where you live like life expectancy in afghanistan for males was 67 or, or 47 or something at some point life expectancy in the lakota nation i believe in uh, uh hill what was it called uh, on the black i think it was black rock for males was 46 right so you have to also consider where you're looking at i'm just gonna go back read some of the other stuff uh, uh, st just germany i think we have we have a free will aspect in us the border between me and you is maybe arbitrary in a way because we are interconnected in many ways and our control over ourselves depends on awareness etc but i believe we have some control over ourselves directed to merely human i believe so too but i think uh, in our present civilization we need the uh, catalyst we need something to purge our programming viper merely human to viper you should not fear profit profit is an, is in essence an exchange of energy conservation of energy is a no law of the world and nature the issue more is more about who gains that energy and how they choose to use it to impact the world around them in my humble opinion well said merely human uh, and we should define what profit is if we're talking about fiat currency profit then mm, there's more problematic if we define profit as a goodwill uh, improvement in our communities 100 percent merely human i agree with you uh, so profit uh, what are we profiting in it makes me consider ubi universal basic zone as a real potential answer it would distribute the energy to the largest possible pool and allow for rapid growth for, for uh, from people in fields uh we have never considered by simple exposure of power to them merely human the problem with uh universal basic income the one i have and i put out a video on this is the centralization aspect of it our current economic political system is corrupt to the core right no matter what type of system we put into place if it's centralizing more power it's going to be corrupted we need to decentralize and we're seeing that right now really the decentralization happening in our world right now is huge there's a lot of centralization happening within legacy systems where they're doing lots of mergers and acquisitions and consuming each other but there's in the background there's a lot of decentralization taking place a lot of decentralization taking place and again i'll put this out there if you have math questions we can do math right but i guess this is uh definitely not uh that turned out to be a math stream also since i'm just gonna read dante's also since 
when when do infant deaths not matter they do matter don't they i'm not saying they don't matter uh, the pain point still stands they didn't have know how to treat their diseases i would agree with that if they didn't know how to treat their all their diseases they were getting uh, however they lived healthier lives their immune system which was much strong, stronger so they got less diseases we have more diseases now much more diseases now if you don't um, include the plagues that came about and a lot of the plagues were because of human behavior right with the black death being associated with you know ticks from rats or whatever it was right it's about infection Dante because many babies children die we are good with infection infection treatments nowadays but not with disease of old age yeah the life uh, look from what I've seen uh, one of the issues we have in our society uh, the quality of life is diminishing dramatically across the board in our societies because of diseases illnesses both mental and physical and spiritual I guess that our current civilization is bringing about right all you all you have to do is look at some of the some of the elders in our society a, a huge chunk of them are living in crazy pain infant deaths take that statistic needle to lower number again cause and effect cause and effect saint just germany merely human to saint just germany unfortunately and likely beyond the scope of twitch chat space i disagree that free will is real simply because we have a sense of control of our lives it is very easy to confuse our perception with what is real existential uh, questions of ontology are likely simply uh, simply too much to be had here though possibly merely one but uh, again this is through education indoctrination um, social engineering centralized power has been social engineering our societies for decades now decades now it's not centuries right are we breaking out of that decentralization fake news <laughs> sticks are running do you like solve sudoku but yeah i do I, I go through periods where i just go off on sudoku for for a while i've done this i don't know five or six times in my life for a few months i play sudoku it's very meditative relaxing and then i move on right and i like playing uh uh the easy ones are ridiculously easy the medium ones are pretty easy i like doing the hard ones and i get i get stuck every now and then right and i do them with pencil pen and uh, uh paper and pencil and i grab those uh you know sudoku books or booklets and stuff like this or i do them online i print them off online and do them i like sudoku sudoku is super fun that's fair i just like to acknowledge the huge service that chemistry and medicine has done for oh huge dante i agree with you there i'm not saying we are living healthy lives yeah i agree with you dante uh the scientific community we we know so much more about the world now than we did in the past on in regards to chemistry medicine and stuff like this but i think we've lost a tremendous amount of information regarding the natural world how we're interconnected with nature right that part i think has been detrimental for our civil for humanity not just our civilization but for humanity no matter how much people pretend cannabis is not a cure-all no but it is in large part preventative in many ways right that has been shown in literally thousands of blinded and controlled experiments but have fun with your placebo i guess um dante cannabis is not a cure for all however it uh it improves lifestyle 
for many people who are suffering tremendously may it be through chronic pain may it be through again nausea um, appetite whatever it might be right I would like to acknowledge everything uh, they've held away from us because of profit and other I ideas yeah how many years is a decade ten years a decade is ten years century is a thousand millennia is oh sorry century is a hundred millennia is a thousand as far as I remember after finding out uh, importance of hygiene in operation rooms and hospitals death in birth rates fell down uh, f fell down in an increasing rate it also changed the statistic of life expectancies expectancy thanks viper and that's one of the things a lot of the scientific the consensus of the scientific community the first person that came out and said oh the reason that people are dying when we're doing surgery on them is because we have these invisible things in our hands that are getting inside the open body they're causing infections so people are dying the scientific community shunned the person i forget who this person was that stated this they threw him out right they might have put him in insane asylum or something right and then later on it came out the scientific community was totally wrong right and this one person was 100 percent correct that surgeons should have been washing their hands before they did surgery right so right now if we take that and that's just one example there's been countless examples throughout human history where the scientific consensus has been wrong and they persecuted people that questioned the scientific consensus right and if we extrapolate to the present right now we should be questioning everything that comes out from the scientific consensus right all scientists or majority of scientists agree that this is the case and then there's a few people that come on and say no oh, you know what maybe not right and then everyone says oh those guys are crazy well maybe the guys who are questioning the consensus are the right right we have to listen right we don't have to believe we don't have to uh, say that the scientific consensus is wrong every time but we have to have a platform for people to talk and express their ideas and their beliefs and the data that they have right now what we're seeing when science is the scientific community or the mass media is quashing quashing is <laughs> preventing anyone that questions the status quo right as far as i remember after finding out importance oh yeah hygiene i don't pretend that it's the cure of everything or even half of the things i'm just pointing out the medicinal benefits of it yeah yeah i was thinking about the same guy the hygiene person yeah the surgeon guy yeah that blows me away like really that blows me away and guys gang i got my i, I have a bachelor in science right some of the some of the people i encountered in the scientific community when i was going through university and after university man i wouldn't hire them to take take out my garbage let it alone collect data process data interpret data accurately there's a lot of sh a lot of scammers in there right sadly historically and how we learn is determined by the victor not necessarily by the actual facts i agree that it would be great to live in a world that listens to all parties involved yeah merely human a uh, dialogue I, like that would be amazing in a group there should always be one guy the last one that questions the rest if they all agree on something just in case they might be wrong sticks are mana this is something that Mossad I believe the philosophy of Mossad I believe they have 13 people I don't, I don't know what the numbers are I'm going by memory right uh, and Mossad is the Israeli secret service right uh, and powerful institution and they do a lot right they they're uh, like really and, and one of the reasons they're powerful I I saw this in an interview in a documentary where one of the top Mossad um, 
top people, I don't know what you call them, uh, was being interviewed. And he said basically that the, 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 the mindset of the Mossad is this, that if everyone agrees, there has to be one person that totally questions everything that the consensus is, right? And many times that one, question, one person that questions what the consensus is ends up being true, uh, statistically anyway, right? So I 100% agree with this. Just in case they might be wrong. Saint just Germany to merely human. So, so on what is the concept of no free will based? Isn't it a kind of perception observation? I perceive that I live. Is that perception wrong? I perceive a world. Doesn't that mean there's at least a simulation? Meaning there's also a real world since the simulation simulates something. That's a that's a loop loop de loop Saint Just Germany. I'm gonna read that again. So on what is the concept of no free will based? So on what is the concept of no free will based? Indoctrination, right? If you're able to think outside the box, isn't it a kind of perception observation? Yeah, social construct i believe that i live is that perception wrong uh not on the fundamental level you live but how do you live what are your beliefs uh, living is not a belief living is life i think therefore i am is that the thing i perceive a world now that's different you don't perceive that you live you do live unless we're talking about like you're saying in the last sentence simulation are we living in a simulation right now some people say yes i don't think so unless you we mean by occupying a physical body is a simulation occupying matter and being able to animate this matter animal animate this matter is a simulation maybe right what kind of math do you tutor uh, high school math elementary school and high school and a little bit of uh, college and university atomic shoelace thank you for the sub by the way i think uh, or follow by the way follow or sub by the way if i don't catch it thank you for the follows and subs okay uh, merely human saint just germany physics actually in my mind at least consider the world around you is functioning under laws and mechanisms those are re restrictive and you have no option to step outside of them yeah and merely human one thing i would say is uh physics is not laws it's approximations we call them laws newton's laws right but newton's newton's laws aren't laws they're approximations so a lot of physics is just approximations it's models there could be a better model that we could implement and by the way i'll say this again if you have any uh, math questions or whatnot let us know i'm just making myself available for a couple hours if you have any if you require any math help i'm here to help you out if you if i can anyway aside from that this open discussion and i love the scientific aspect of it politics and stuff well we talked a little bit politics but it was science related uh we do during current event streams physics is not the best source you weren't there when we talked about it i believe it was a talk about truth of reasons versus truth of facts physics is about truth of facts uh truth is about truth of facts truth of facts you can't state as really truth yeah they can be falsified any moment yeah yeah i agree with saint just germany um physics has tremendous amount of assumptions associated with it chemistry biology in all sciences the first thing you do is you state your assumptions these are my assumptions based on my assumptions here's the data we collected here's how we interpret it here's our interpretation models thank you for correcting that functioning laws models yeah yeah and they are and they're very accurate models 
I mean, really, look at all the things we've done with our models, with physics, chemistry, biology, all the other sciences, right? I wish I went to uh, a tutor for my physics class in uni. I did enjoy, I did enjoy the lab experiments, but I didn't do so well on the exams. Yeah, yeah, it's, university, man. There's a way better way to uh, provide education to our societies. Way better way to provide education to our societies, right? Like we do a brutal job at it. Like incredible, brutal, really. It's and it's getting worse. Like just to let you guys know, the my experience with with our current education system, and I've been doing this for like twenty years or so, right? It's falling off a cliff in regards to mathematics it's falling off a cliff where we're going with this i don't know really the the misinformation the lack of education the lack of information the how unprepared kids are right now in my part of the world coming out of high school for for the world uh, for them to be able to function to the best of their abilities in the world is ridiculous, right? You're doing a part of that better way right here. It is sustainable, functional, and reaches a massive audience that choose to accept it. Your method of teaching is quite good, uh, uh, quite good here. Uh, thanks, merely human. I, you know what? I, it's to a certain degree. It's it, it's my it's multifaceted right it's my passion i love this okay it's my business model right i'm trying to roll this out so it will sustain me and i can do this until the end of my days and it's also extremely selfish because i want to improve our societies i want to improve our communities right i'm getting tired of more power going to centralized institutions because people aren't educated well enough they're not they don't have the tools at their disposal to take care of themselves so they're looking up to authority and higher power to take care of themselves and their communities right and that's by design as far as i see it centralized power has destroyed our education system has co-opted hijacked our communities so it can acquire more power i'm trying to at least do my part to reverse that okay trying and it's working right it's slow mo but slow mo is okay it's manageable for me is it odd how hard you have to work in order to just be a productive member of society going through school uni internship etc without a guarantee of employment or even self-purpose very odd but it's by design by centralized power they've made life extremely difficult in our world right that's because if we're barely making ends meet and trying to stay healthy and trying to take care of our families then we don't have time to question their power their atrocities right so first thing we have to do is don't believe their bs the second thing we have to do in, in association with not believing them questioning everything they have to say not buying into their garbage at the same time we also have to build our communities and educate our kids and educate ourselves and arm ourselves with knowledge and power and live as healthy lives as possible physics seems really interesting i would take it if i was smart enough but i think it's too demanding for my capacity all of i disagree really i disagree i think everybody has the ability to do physics you just have to change your lifestyle to a certain degree and consume less crap and consume more serious content right it may mean you have to relearn mathematics okay it may mean that you just have to do a little bit of research into physics and 
think about what it is that you want to focus on, right? One of the things you can do, the easiest place to start with physics is this, is kinematics, in, in my opinion, all right? Merely human uh, to all of. I can offer you a piece of advice right now. Correct that uh, speaking about yourself. Your future self would appreciate it. You can succeed. You are not what you think you are. You can reach beyond your current self. Merely human, I like you 100%. 100%. I am not smart is a wording you should change today. I am smart enough and I will prove it. Yeah. 100% I agree with merely human stop stop saying math is hard physics is hard because it's not that's a social construct centralized power hijacking education and can trying to tell people that mathematics is hard or physics is hard you would be amazed at how many students I've worked with where their parents turn to me and after I work with the kids for a little bit Right? I turn to the parents and say, why is your kid failing or not doing well? And their reply is this. Most parents, many parents, right? they turn to me and they go, I don't know. They used to love mathematics when they were younger. And then they hated it. Now, the, the kids all of a sudden, at some point, when puberty hits, they go, I hate mathematics? Hell no. The reason they hate it is because our centralized education system is so horrendous right it takes the love out of humanity right it takes this thing that merely human says i am smart i will prove it i want to know right it takes that out of kids right seriously you can do whatever you want to do you just have to decide for yourself is the sacrifice worth it is it going to be uh, is it gonna make me happy am I gonna love doing this will I put the time required to do this and then figure out what you need to learn before well the first place you need to start anyway try to have fun with it if you hook yourself to it somehow uh, your confidence level will rise and you will do better agreed 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 thanks Mary the human I will give it a try cool I quote something I read okay St. just Germany so quote science science conclusively proved that light is a wave phenomenon and definitely not a particle phenomenon but now claims that light is both particle and wave so how can anyone take scientific proof seriously except in a strictly professional sense merely human uh, this is a uh, polemic quote i admit i don't know what polemic means uh, but it has some truth in it in my view since what is certain today may be far off in 100 years saint just germany this i agree with 100 percent. the scientific facts we have right now may be complete fallacies in the future right and scientific fallacies we have right now may become fact in the future just remember there was a lot of doctors promoting people for smoking cigarettes right they said oh it doesn't harm you what what we talk science <laughs> I guess this is uh, we did a little math I meant that teacher yeah teacher 100% right man system and teachers wrecks the curiosity of the students uh, I would say system I wouldn't say teacher there are a lot of teachers that are trying their best just it's just the system grinds them down and they're just they get destroyed right once they stay within the system there are there are a lot of teachers that are horrendous as well right I'm not gonna justify it I I deal with their byproduct on a daily basis right trying to bring the love of learning back into kids trying to teach them mathematics trying to tell them that they're smart they can do whatever they want right because a lot of kids that i work with if they're struggling they're they do they say the same thing that uh, all of it i can't do it is too hard and my first thing is calm things down for them 
and get their self-confidence back up right um, it's the institutions it's the centralized institutions it's the lack of opportunity merely human state just Germany because although it expands and is proven and disproved it is still the best model of thought we have available what we know today can very well be wrong very soon this does not mean we should discard it it means we should search further into it 100% agreed and try to find alternative ways of being alternative ways of thinking the problem is the centralized institutions pass laws prohibiting ways of being ways of thought ways of looking at the world right some of them at least yeah viper I agree yeah some some and that's you know you're gonna get that in any field all of what you speak becomes what you believe what you believe becomes your reality ask any successful person and they will tell you the same assuming they are speaking honestly I want you to grow merely human I agree I agree live the way you want to live right treat others well uh, don't put yourself down be positive really appreciate that you can improve your life you can improve your community you can make a difference you can learn anything you want to learn you just have to figure out what it is that or how it is that you want to interact with this world for even just now for a short period of time or for extended period of time or for a lifetime and nothing really lasts forever right people go through multiple career life changes throughout their lives right just be willing to accept change right because change as the saying goes the only absolute in life is change right that's all okay and we are brilliant creatures really we are hard we we can we adapt right we're resilient we just have to take ownership on our own of our own lives be responsible for our own lives right we have to hold ourselves accountable for our own actions for our own situation curiosity may kill the cat but I'm sure it teached it so many lessons yeah or curiosity might have killed this cat but all the other cats watching went okay don't do that right curiosity killed the cat cats are resilient really cats are crazy resilient they're very cuddly too some of them anyway some of them how are we doing for time well, we barely did any mathematics eh? <laughs> I think when I upload this on BitChute and YouTube I'm gonna talk I'm gonna call this talking philosophy what should we call this you guys have been here what should we call this video when we load it on BitChute and YouTube sometimes I have a seriously hard time deciding on what I'm gonna call things and I try to watch the whole thing and put timestamps in there I don't even know how I would put timestamps into this video Olive to merely human I hear you and I agree but it's really damn hard to put into practice I do try though so thanks for the advice yeah and Olive it's not supposed to be easy really since childhood we grew up in the society which is bombarding us like we're not talking about you know random bombardment we're talking about methodical calculated bombardment by corporations and centralized power to program us in a way to accept their authority as we get older right if you watch the documentary called the corporation there's a part in there where they're interviewing a ceo of a company i forget who it is that sells products to teenage girls right 
And in the interview, the CEO says, listen, we don't want to focus a huge chunk of our advertising advertising to teenage girls. We're spending a ton of advertising money to adolescent girls, right? Girls that are in that are five, six, seven years old, they start producing advertisements, programming for girls that age, even though they have no products to sell to girls that age, because in the next few years, they program them to a level when they reach tweens, 11, 12, 13, they've been indoctrinated to consume their product. That's what we're under, the pressure that we're under in our current civilization, in our current societies. And that's just one, right? They do this for everyone, okay? We have to really appreciate what that means and rewrite our programming. That takes hard work. So hard, so hard, so hard. But man, is it worth it? Some of this, some of that. Maybe the title that fit some of this, some of that. <laughs> A philosophical live stream. Some of this, some of that. Is that what you would call it, Viper? <laughs> I'm going to send this. Some of this, some of that. Some of this, some of that. I'm going to write this out. I'm going to send myself a little note. Okay. And the benefits of cannabis. That's what we're going to call it. Open discussion on the benefits of cannabis. Okay, some of this, some of that. Here, let's do this. I'm going to write this out so I don't forget. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Open the saw saw call this gushing some of this some of that and uh, ben fits of cannabis at least that's what we're gonna call it on bitchute okay <laughs> on, on YouTube we'll probably leave out and the benefits of cannabis okay just because we've been getting by the way we've been getting killed with the youtube algorithm okay like i know that notifications aren't going out to people i guess we did some stuff that youtube's algorithm did not like right uh so been getting killed with youtube analytics unfortunate but that's one of the reasons i've been decentralizing right the mess model of thought there are many candidates i believe physics is one but maybe mathematics and thinking reasoning is a better one i don't know but i like the concept of truth truth of reason greater than truth of fact you like truth of reason greater than truth of fact okay cool are the facts based on reasons what are the facts that's the kicker right what are facts <coughs> I like the concept also when I spoke about free will it is not <coughs> it is not because it is it's it is a, a pleasant thought but my honest opinion currently I am not in disagreement with you though just a slightly variant perspective yeah I think we would all agree that we have a lot of things wrong in our current societies like so much wrong going on right now and we're all working towards improving that how we go about it i think is really personal because there isn't one road one path to the answer we could get there through multiple paths to the solutions it is better to exclude the cannabis from youtube title i think so i think so I'm gonna start really filtering myself from YouTube, uh, censoring myself from YouTube. We'll see where we we'll go with this. Um, I'm just doing my first set of, um, what do you call it? Uh, getting back into the editing stuff. So I might go back to just maybe loading on mainly primar primarily just the edited videos on there and the live streams on YouTube. We'll see where it goes, right? 
uh, facts equals all swans uh, are white you could observe a black swan one day though reason equals analytic conclusions like every bachelor is unmarried okay so basically the black swans the extremes in the data set you don't consider to be part of the fact the factoid all swans are white you could observe a black swan one day though okay no you do put the disclaimer you could absorb a black swan one day though okay and reason equals analytic conclusions like every bachelor is unmarried uh, but is is every bachelor unmarried saint just germany by definition but some people we know this is a fact say i'm a bachelor if they're trying to pick up someone have some extra clicker activities but they're not bachelors so they're misusing the word bachelor right am i picking uh, what do you call it uh, my apologies for not staying on subject i did attempt earlier to gracefully back out of the philosophy conversation i also did not have any math questions i come to learn from what your uh coro copia of stream of a stream is usually i did not mean no merely human it's not disrespect no one came up uh hannah how you doing like there was no math questions we set it out there uh which is fine that's okay like seriously merely human just so you know when i with my students when we set up sessions where we're planning on doing mathematics in general we're trying to do mathematics right but there are many cases where I get together with students where we're not talking about mathematics. We're talking about the questions that they have about life, right? So I'm not there. My main focus is to teach them mathematics because I believe mathematics is going to make their lives a lot easier. But there are times where my students have other thoughts in their minds and they can't focus on the mathematics. And when I encounter those situations, uh, I talk to talk with them about whatever they want to talk about okay so this is an absolute odd um, how you doing wait what's going on here isn't this a mastery hey Chicho, how are you doing all it was supposed to be a mastery but we ended up just talking philosophy and science and medicine and stuff like that so it was super cool by the way odd I am four episodes in into Steingate fantastic john titter yes thank you for the recommendation i'm pretty sure you're you recommended it to me right and just so you know when john titter was doing his thing right was was it a group of people was it just a troll job well, it was just a troll well, it wasn't just a troll job it was there was more to it right i was reading that stuff in real time when it was being posted okay so Steins Gate, I'm really appreciating because it takes me back to that period. And by the way, with uh, John Titter stuff, with uh, Steins Gate brings it up, where I I forget when the last one last time was, maybe ten years ago or something like that. I went back trying to find his whole posts on the forums that he posted, and there was stuff missing right so i'm really appreciating steins gate thanks for the recommendation uh, fantastic loving it loving it uh, saint just germany i put it uh, in another way truth of reason equals those prior to experience platonic we might say <laughs> priori and truth of fact those dependent on experience so let's check that those prior to experience so reason is truth of reason equals those prior to experience truth of facts those dependent on experience aristotelian we might say i gotta read that again that's that to me is truth of reason equals those prior to experience truth of fact those dependent on experience okay possibly that's an interesting way of thinking about it hannah graphing cubic root functions when they are in uh 
uh, they're an exponent you got to do um uh, let's do you got to do <laughs> i'm pretty great at anime recommendation awesome on me i appreciated it uh hannah you got to do synthetic division right it's not my theory it's uh lipins is it i don't know lipins philosophy is cool though a lot of philosophy is indistinguishable from math yeah this might be off topic but does hard work mean anything in life yeah or is life just all luck no but luck plays a part in it luck can throw you any which way that's life right both with the goal of being successful no luck has a part to play in it but uh, hard work does mean does mean a lot as the saying goes you make your own luck it's not 100 percent true you know like luck, luck can smack you by the side of the head good and bad but lucky that you're live now i want to watch one of your youtube videos but figured i'd check i check twitch first cheers chicho been a fan for the last few years awesome sono son of a gore son of a gore <laughs> glad you checked out his stream i'm going to be loading by the way yesterday i loaded on math how to count tomorrow i'm loading on how to add how to teach adding two days later i'm loading on how to teach multiplying and then two days after that i'm loading on the whole thing uh all in one video lipsnick i think you have uh his face on your calculus book if i remember oh do i is that him cool i sometimes feel like lipsnick was the last real polymath really and i love the word polymath that's what they say i believe is it i gotta look into this then uh factoring factoring cubics graphing cubics graphing graphing cubics take a look at this here's here's one thing you have to appreciate when you're graphing polynomials right there's four things that can happen if you have a function that has a positive coefficient in front of the highest degree highest power and the power is even then the function opens up like this goes like this if you have a function that is a negative coefficient in front and an even power the function opens down if you have a function that has a positive coefficient in front and an odd power the function opens up like this it goes like this and if you have a function that is a negative coefficient in front with an odd power the function opens up like this so this would be x to the power of one two three four five this would be x to the power of three this would be x to the power of one two whoops one two three four five six seven eight this would be x to the power of one two three four okay so the curves the amount of curves sort of tell you what type of function you have what degree so if you get a function that is a cube let's say x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3x plus 1 okay to be able to factor this you do some, something called synthetic division and we've got a whole bunch of stuff on there look into just do chicho synthetic division it's series 3b of the language of mathematics that we put out so you take the coefficient up front here 1 5 3 1 and you try out different factors possible factors of this divided by this right now it's just plus or minus one so we're going to go x is equal to one is not going to work we're going to x is equal to negative one is that going to work da -da 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 -da. i don't think so but we'll try it out anyway that means x plus one is a factor so you bring this guy down multiply by this that's negative one add those guys you get four multiplied by negative one you get negative four add them together you get negative one multiply by negative one you get one and it doesn't factor if we change this to a negative negative one that's a negative one then multiply by negative one whatever is here becomes positive one you add them you get zero yay we factored it right so the factor of this f of x is going to be x plus one times you reduce it by one degree this becomes x squared plus four x minus one and you can factor this guy using the quadratic formula this process is a long process i put out a whole bunch of videos for factoring polynomials anything of cubic function okay or higher degree 
that's the way you go about it that's the speedy gonzalez version of it and what these guys are this is x is equal to negative one so that's one of the x intercept this was a positive coefficient and an odd power so it follows this mindset so we know that the function does this okay we don't know if it's going you know going like this or here's negative one again going like this okay we don't know that yet because we haven't factored this guy out and we haven't plugged in any numbers here to see what the y value is right so as soon as you find that you can go find f of one or f of two right so find out what f of x is when x is two you plug it in here 2 cubed is 8. Here, let's do this here. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4. Times 5 is 20. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 6 minus 1. So that's 28. Uh, 30, 28. Uh, 34 minus 1, 33. So when x is 2, y is 33. x is 2, y is 33. So we're probably up here. Something like that. Sorry, Hannah, I, if we had longer, we'd go through it um, more. But that's the quick way. But I've done a lot of these. Chicho synthetic division. You'll find eight videos on it. Neuron was really just a discount Lebens. I don't know these the philosophers. I didn't know this uh, f uh factorization that is mind-blowing thanks man my pleasure piper <laughs> yadi although we lack free will in the sense most understand it as in my opinion i feel that hard work and the choices we make alter our boundaries with high probability which impacts our choices and being shorter answer yes without question hard work has a point 100 percent hard work has a point the three stooges chicho i ain't no speedy gonzalez i'm more like his cousin slowpoke rodriguez <laughs> was that his name he did have a cousin that was really slow and he was like hey how's it going i love oh, man i love that cartoon speedy gonzalez was phenomenal phenomenal I don't know if, if it's PC anymore. I don't know. I don't even know if they show it anymore. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> he did. He was a tall guy. He was tall and, or he was. He was. Was he the chubby one or the tall one? I can't remember, man. But I love the saying. <laughs> Puff of smoke. Oh, phew, comes back so fun so fun well we did some math yay <laughs> i think we're gonna call the stream gang if you're into politics tomorrow tomorrow from 11 a.m we're gonna talk about current events and stuff odd nick so you know how there are uh cubed functions quadratic functions etc and formulas like quadratic equation well there is no quintic formula to solve polynomials to the fifth power because of a mathematician named Galois. really is that true Otmik? why so he proved that you couldn't come up with a formula for um uh, quintic to the power of five big sombrero on a small mouth i like that cartoon also yeah I didn't know that Otmik. And I don't know any of the other formulas for I don't even know the formula for the cubic or uh quartic or anything, right? Um I just know the quadratic and then I just use synthetic division to factor all the rest of the polynomials. Gallos was age nineteen when he discovered uh developed Gallos theory. He died in a duel the day after he wrote it down. Oh, what rambo 85 how you doing oh that's unfortunate that brings down the life expectancy model <laughs> i remember the roadrunner 
and the coyotes tactics cartoons was awesome cartoons was awesome it was awesome less judgmental than it is now less pro propaganda as it is now right less pc as it is now life lesson don't do math and duel life lesson don't do math and duel the duel was after a girl what a real romantic i think it was like right before the french revolution oh no oh that's just that's ridiculous losing your life in a duel after a girl how about just you know if the girl wants you you guys just grab each other's hands and grab your belongings and skip town and go to another country wouldn't that be more rom romantic than dying in a duel <laughs> doing good rambo doing good enjoying life enjoying life Lebes wasn't just a philosopher he also developed calculus like integral notation with newton man i've been my my history of mathematics is horrendous i always thought newton was the main person that uh, came up with calculus i didn't i didn't realize it was Lebes, and i didn't know he was the face of the math book that i that i cherish i gotta look into this guy i'm pretty sure i looked at him before but i forget right it's crazy okay gang i hope you have a fantastic uh, friday i hope uh, you have a fantastic weekend if you can make it tomorrow uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow during current uh, current stream i'm happy you like steins gate though it really really picks up after episodes okay cool i'm looking forward to it it's fantastic out there I miss you terribly. Uh, I'm here, brother. I'm here. Or sister, of course, right? I'm here. I'll be around. And then I'll announce the live streams most likely next weekend or something. Thanks for the stream, Chicho. And thanks for the talk. Uh, merely human in chat. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Thank you for the suggestions. Thank you for the recommendations. Thank you for everything. And it's awesome. We had no trolls today. Yeah. Right on. They saw math and they ran. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk later. Bye for now.